Welcome back to our TOEFL preparation class. Today's topic is about present participles. Present participles is verb plus ing. So be careful of present participles in the sentence. A present participle is the ing form of the verb. For example, talking, playing, in structure questions on the TOEFL test, a present participle can cause confusion because it can be either a part of the verb or, or an adjective. Can look like can look like the verb or adjective. Uh, it is part of the verb when it is preceded by some form of the verb be. For example. The man is talking to his friend. This is present participle, but you have to be here, so it becomes a complete verb. So this is correct in this case. But some, sometimes, do not put the is. So they say, the man talking to his friend. This is not a sentence. Yeah. Uh, this is the talking there. If you erase the is here, the talking is only part of the man. All right. In this sentence, talking is part of the verb, part of the verb, because it is accompanied by is. There is is here. A present participle is an adjective when it is not accompanied by some form of the verb be. For example, the man talking. This is not this is not a verb. This is part of the noun as an adjective. The man actually you can say the man who is talking to his friend has a beard. But who is is reduced. Reduced and it becomes uh, present participle like this. All right. You can say the man talks, the man, sorry, who talks, or the man who is talking, the man who was talking, and then you can reduce and it becomes one noun, one subject here. The man talking to his friend. And then this is the verb. Okay, this is the subject, the main noun. In this sentence, talking is an adjective and not part of the verb because it is not accompanied by some form of be. No be here. If you have be there, the sentence is wrong. Why? Because you cannot have a complete verb and then another complete verb. We call it double verbs. So one of them has to be changed into this form. The following example shows how a present participle can be confused with a verb in structured questions on the token test. A child here playing in the yard is my son. So here actually is, is the verb, right? So you cannot have a complete verb here. Okay, so you cannot say, for example, the child was playing in the yard is my son. So you have double verbs. The child, he playing, this is double subject and uh, it does not actually explain. It's not explained by this this uh, present participle. The child is playing in the yard. Is my son? So double no. The best answer is now. The child now playing in the yard is my son. Okay, so um, all right. the best answer here is A, this one, A. 
present participles, yeah? a present participle is the in form of the verb. The present participle can be part of the verb or an adjective. It is part of the verb when it is accompanied by some form of the verb be. It is an adjective when it is not accompanied by some form of the verb be. The boy is standing in the corner. This is part of the verb because it is accompanied by be. The boy standing in the corner was naughty. Standing is part of the adjective. This is adjective that gives more information about the noun that it precedes. Okay. Now, the exercise. Each of the following sentences contains one or more present participles. Underline the subjects once and the verbs twice. Circle the present participles and label them as adjectives or verbs. Then indicate if the sentences are correct or incorrect. The companies offering the lowest prices will have the most customers. So here, offering is an adjective. It gives more information to the noun. Yeah. So altogether, the companies offering the lowest prices, this is the subject. And the main noun is companies, main noun. And then the verb is will have. One subject, one. Number two, those travelers are completing their trip on Delta should report to gate three. So here you have a verb here and then you have a verb here. Okay, so this is incorrect. You have to change this. You can only have one verb. Here you have to change into present participle. If the meaning is active, yeah, active, those travelers active yeah, completing their trip on Delta. This is active meaning, active here. Yeah. Then uh, it is the present participle part of the noun as an adjective. So this is incorrect. Number three, the artisans were dis demonstrating various handicrafts at booths throughout the fair. The artisan subject were demonstrating, okay, were various handicrafts, this is the, the object, at booths, at verb, throughout the fair, at verb. So this is correct. But this is a present participle as part of the verb accompanied by a form of to be. Correct. Number four, the fraternities are giving the wildest parties attract the most new pledges. Subject, the fraternities. Verb, are giving. The wildest parties, object, attract verb again. So this one is wrong, incorrect. You have to change this into a present participle. The fraternities giving the wildest parties attract the most new prizes. Altogether, this one is the subject, the subject of the sentence. And of course, the main noun is fraternities, plural. So you see here, verb plural, attract the most new prizes. Number five, the first team winning four games is awarded a championship. All right, so this is the subject. The first team winning four games, good, yeah? This one is present participle as an adjective. It gives more information to the noun. Is is the verb, sorry, is awarded is the verb. This is passive. Is awarded championship. Correct number six. The speaker was trying 
to make his point was often interrupted for severe firstly here the speaker was trying this is a verb to make his point was often interrupted this is also a verb so this is incorrect you have to change this into present participles as an adjective the speaker trying to make his point was often interrupted for severely. All right, so this is incorrect. Number seven, the fruits were rotting. Subject, were rotting verb, because of the moisture in the crates carrying them to market. Correct, eh? The crates is a kind of transportation or for transportation to move things. So this is the they move fruits to the market using the crate. All right, this is correct. Number eight, any students desiring, who desires, you know, who desires, or desiring official transcripts should complete the appropriate form. This is correct. This is the subject, then this is the verb. Number nine, the advertisements were announcing the half-day sale received a lot of attention. You have two verbs here, were announcing and received. So you have to change this into a present participle as an adjective, so you just cross this out. The advertisement announcing the half-day sale received a lot of attention. Number 10, the spices flavoring the meal were quite distinctive. This is correct, yeah? This is part of the noun, so it is an adjective. All right, so uh, the next one is skill number five. Uh, please read and then do the exercise and then we can discuss about the answers on my next video. Good luck.